Here's an example with a tangent function. They're asking us for the period. So that should be pretty easy. If you look down at the notes that I send you, it says that the period right here the period of tangent is pi over b. That's a little bit different. Remember, for sine and cosine, it was 2 pi over b, but the tangent is only pi over b for his period. So we have a little bit different period formula. So the period is pi over b, tangent, and then uh, and the b is this, right? We're talking about the general form a tangent bx plus c plus d out here. So b is the number next to x. So pi over b, which is 5 pi over 11. Right, so we plug that in right there. So that's b, and b is 5 pi over 11. So how do we divide a fraction over a fraction? You know, pi times, and you grab the denominator, and you flip it up, you multiply by the upside down, right? Because dividing is upside down multiplying. This is over 1, the pi's cancel, and we get 11 fifths. So that is the period. That's how we get it. It's just the formula pi over b.